the battle. How do we win it? Well, here's the first one. Friends, we've got to borrow wisdom. Right? We've got to learn from people who are further down the road of life than we are. We've got some examples up here. Mentors, books, podcasts, blogs, social media. Now, look, when I got back from the Olympics, which was a major milestone in my career, I met with two mentors. And one of the things I, I, I learned really early on is that there, there's been a myth floating around culture. It's been going on for a long time, and it morphs itself, but I'm going to try to come at it at two angles. The myth kind of goes like this. The myth is, you know, I, I reach a certain age, or it'll come this way. Um, I experience some major milestone in my career, and then I just stop listening to people. Maybe you've seen that myth in action. That myth has been going on for a long time. So when I got back from the Olympics, a major milestone, I sat down with two mentors. Mentor number one has built an incredible business. I'm in his office. I got my little notebook. I'm writing down everything he's telling me. I'm even writing down what he's wearing. Maybe I need to wear that. I don't know. I'm just writing it down. Right? And he's giving me wisdom after wisdom after wisdom. And then his spouse called. And ah, I just, you know, I, I just didn't like the way he spoke to his spouse. I so, thought, you know, I just, I just wrote that down. And they were touring the building, and an incredible building, and meeting staff, and it was an interesting atmosphere. Uh, nobody looked like they wanted to be there. I didn't th- see one smile in, in the building. And so I just, you know, I got, again, I got my notebook. I'm just kind of, okay, writing that down. Then I go meet with mentor number two. Well, in the terms of net worth, very comparable. Built an incredible business. I'm in his office. This is Wednesday, 11 a.m., not Friday 4, Wednesday, 11 a.m., middle of our meeting, two toddlers bust through the door. And he didn't scold them, he loved them. I, saw, you know, I, just, I just wrote that down. Then we're, we're touring the building again, right, and doing the whole nine yards and meeting staff, and it was, it was a different atmosphere. People looked like they wanted to be at work. There were smiles everywhere. I saw, I was like, huh, I just, I just wrote that down. Friends, I share this with you for two reasons. Before you borrow wisdom, I need you to be a fruit inspector. I need you to evaluate the fruits of somebody's labor before you borrow the wisdom. Friends, if there's chaos and train wreck, guess what's coming? Second reason I share this with you is that I've met with mentor number two. One time for 45 minutes. You know that thing at the bottom of the email goes like this. I will get back to you at my earliest convenience. It's been four years. Every time I call his assistant, I just I try to get real creative. She just never patches me through. But friends, anytime mentor number two writes a book, I read it. Anytime mentor number two publishes a blog, it's in my inbox at 5.30 in the morning. Here's the, and we know this in this space. Here's the beauty about living in 2022 and the power of technology. It gets rid of the excuse of, well, I don't know anybody. Friends, I, if you take anything from today, ultra performers in sport and business, they protect the content they consume. What are you watching? What are you reading? Who are you listening to? Friends, I've got great news. You, you get to choose. I'm just telling you, ultra performers, they, they filter that, and they take that very, very seriously. 